One of the vessels that took commander. part in the raid on Utopia Planitia has gone missing in the Orith system, in Romulan space. We received a brief burst from the ship's emergency transponder, but then it went silent. If this was a Romulan attack, we may have a new enemy to face in this war. Command has ordered us to go to the last known location of the ship. Once there, we are to find the missing vessel and recover the critical data, if possible. Okay, so... Klingon Intelligence, this guy is one of the seniors in Klingon Intelligence, he's uh, uh, requiring us, uh, not asking, requiring us to go to uh, this planet in Rome, uh, in the Orith system, uh, where a ship that uh, joined in with an attack that we led on the uh, plan uh, Utopia Planetier, uh, Planitia uh, shipyards in um, uh, on the planet of, or in the orbit of Mars, um, uh, and it's gone missing. Right. So there's a little recap of what happened. So we're going to accept this. Everything um, we do is for the Empire. Indeed, everything Kupla for the glory of the Empire. So let's beam back up to the ship and actually start on our uh, mission. So, the ship to Gan is our first officer. We're in the corner system and ready to beam you up uh, on your command. So we're charting the story of how this uh, Klingon uh, went from being second officer on a bird of prey to wherever he's going to wind up. Um, he challenged his captain for uh, a command after his captain was proved to be a traitor. There's our little ship. We seem to have a lot of ships around us at the moment, so let's get a bit of space. And we'll leave the system. Heading for the Orith system. Where we need to begin Alpha. Orith system, let's stop. Our system is dominated by Orith Prime, a large hydrogen helium gas giant with uh, significant amounts of chlorine and sulfur in its atmosphere. The close order of it with Orith Prime is Orith 2, a small M class planet covered in jungles um, and thick vegetation. Empire scientists say that the atmosphere on Orith 2 is not hazardous, although they speculate that the influence of the gas giant has led to unusual aberrations in the planet's ecosystem. Intelligence reports uh, indicate that Noazakan pirates have taken up residence in the clusters of asteroids it's drawn into the orbit of our Bioris Prime, its massive gravity well. Uh, captains are advised, uh, captains in the region are advised to use caution when exploring this region. So it's not Oris 3, or maybe it is. But anyway, we've begin the story alpha we have arrived in the orith system the bird of prey may be in orbit obscured by the planet itself it may have crashed on the planet or been destroyed here in space it is time to begin the hunt Indeed. ready to begin a sensor sweep on your command Good. Begin your scans, Cannon. Well, thank you very much for the follow, Jacko. Is that how you pronounce uh, your uh, tag? Jacka? Jacko? Right, begin system scan. There is too much radiation from Orith Prime. It's scrambling the sensor signal. We should narrow down the search area with more intensive scans of key areas. That small ion nebula is a good place to start. Helm set course for that ion nebula. OK. 
Okay. So. Calibrate sensors at the Iron Nebula. Our science officers have got some things to do. Calibrate the sensors. Skilled, my friend. We now have a detailed scan of the Ion Nebula. There is a cluster of debris behind the larger asteroid. Metallic content is consistent with a ship. That may be what remains of our missing vessel. If so, there could be something left to salvage in the wreckage. Scan the wreckage. Let's find out. Calibrate sensors again. Sensors again. I suspect that pirates have been ambushing ships in this system with traps like this for some time now. Crude, but effective. Many a freighter captain came through here trying to avoid inspections, only to meet a cold and brutal end. Any sign of our missing vessel? Sensors are picking up Romulan and Nausicaan alloys within the debris field, but nothing from a Klingon vessel. I'm reading an interesting radiation anomaly nearby. I think we should investigate it. Very well. Helm, um, take us to this uh, anomaly of Caymans. Right, we'll redispute power again. Back to engines. Actually, we will bring it up to a balance. Calibrate sensors. Oh, we have ships incoming. This is pirate space. We can talk to no one. Leave our side. Look that. I kind of put an end to them. That's our secret weapon. I've uh, upgraded torpedoes. And, uh, we have no Rumba. We will never surrender. Oh, there we go. So we have a If so, they paid their price for their treachery. Indeed. They should have known better than to challenge a Klingon. Wait. Reading an energy signature on the surface of Orith 2. It corresponds to that of a warp core. One of ours? Indeed. And of the size and class used in a bird of prey. We need to get down there and investigate. There could be survivors. Helm, take us into orbit over Orith 2. Standard orbit established. 
We are in transporter range. Away team is standing by in transporter room one. Beaming down. Okay, so we have a mix of personnel going down. Uh, science, engineering, and tactical. Detecting bands of Vistrium in the rock formations here. It scatters transporter signals, so this is as close as we can get to the bird of prey safely. We should make our way to high ground and get an overview of the area. Then we can plan how to proceed to the crash site. Let's do so. range has been reduced by more than 60%. The Fistrium and trace amounts of Kelvinite could account for some of that, but no, there's something else. I think we're dealing with a jammer of some sort. Run a scan and confirm my readings. Very well, scanning now. There. Do you see it? Looks like a low-level uh, genetic field. Exactly. And naturally occurring duonetic fields would not be so constant in effect. This field is artificially generated. I'm sure of it. Be advised. That field will make using transporters difficult. I believe our weapons will still work, however. Understood. Remain vigilant. I do not think we're alone here. As I suspected, that field is making it difficult to maintain a sensor lock. Won't be safe to beam out of here without using a pattern enhancer. Okay, you'll set one up then. Do not want to be trapped here. Picking up some energy readings to the south. The jungle is dense. Many life signs. Exercise caution. Dangers are hidden here. We are not alone. The rocks here form natural valleys and causeways. If we head to the low ground and follow the valleys, we should be able to reach the crash site. Let's get down from here and push through this jungle. Is there any way this way? No, there's not. So it is go back, even though it's directly opposite of the direction we actually want to go. Creature there. You were a bit slow with the uh, mini gun. Right, we have a choice. This looks like the better of the choice compared to the marker. I thought I saw something moving. We should scan the area again. This planet is playing tricks on me. There's nothing there! Right, let's actually get a friend. Might be able to help us. Right, 
are you going to be can't go that way nothing looks like uh, my party antagonized it I wonder if that was the uh, Targ Showing up anomaly wise. It's a nausicum. Right. It's interesting that nothing showed up on the scanners whatsoever. What are we going to find? What else is there? Hang on. We have a wrecked ship. There it is! The bird of prey! Recommend we run a baseline scan before we proceed. I do not like surprises. There have been too many of them here already. Agreed. Scanning now. might be life signs. The radiation from the ship's reactor is fouling up my tricorder. Hi there, Skelly. We can't rely on our How instruments here. Visual recon is our next option. Very well. Stay alert. Move out. So we have some dead warriors. We have a survivor. A captain, Captain Cam. Come on, I'm Katang, captain of the remains of this honored vessel. What happened here, Captain? We were returning from a recon mission and encountered Nasika pirates. One of them got a lucky shot and knocked our seal generator out. We were making repairs when the Herogen attacked. Herogen here? They've come far to hunt. Indeed. They are good at that. They jammed our transmissions and began to hunt us like animals. Shortly after, we crashed. I do not know how many of my crew remain. Several of them went into the jungle to hunt the Herogen. Against my orders. Young fools. Always it is the brave ones who die. We'll search the area for your crew, Captain. This warrior survived the crash. A very sharp blade killed them, expertly wielded. By tracing the blood trail back to its source, I found a second drag path and two sets of footprints. I believe this warrior died trying to defend someone else. Someone who was then taken. Then perhaps they can be found and liberated. Who was that with that? That was a pretty effective weapon. I'm detecting level 3 radiation burns and severe heat damage. This warrior must have been very close to a power conduit when it exploded. Not how I would wish to die.
a Romulan. Not terribly unexpected, considering where we are. But I do wonder why a Romulan is in the company of Klingon warriors. Keep him close for now. We can interrogate him later. Once we don't have to worry about the Hirogen putting their blades in our backs. Watch him closely. We have enough to worry about as it is. So are you a Star Trek fan, Skelly? I'm detecting electrical burns and plasma damage, along with pieces of shrapnel that could have come from an exploding console. This warrior died with honor. There's nothing that indicates they left their post. To die in the line of duty is the hope of every Klingon. This warrior was killed by blunt force trauma. The wounds could have been caused by the force of the crash. If the ship's inertial dampers were offline before the ship hit the atmosphere, it is likely that many of the crew were killed this way. Never mind. We, we're all different, thankfully, uh, Skelly. I've always had a, s a soft spot for Star Trek. It's not the greatest of games, but it's Star Trek enough, if you know what I mean. It's just dated. It's 14 years old. This warrior had many internal injuries. Injuries that should have been immediately fatal. Yet, he survived for some time. And look! The disruptor was drained of power. Every shot was fired. They died in battle! Today there's a new warrior in Sovacor. That's all of them. Let's go talk to Captain Katang. Where? Where is the enemy? Who will die as a warrior? Be still, Alten. Do not want me to die like this. Be still, I'll tend your wounds, Captain. We'll fight another day. Hopefully. My faith returns. I will live to fight for the Empire. Do you hear, Herodian cowards? Captain! Son of Karak, live on! Meet me in battle, if you have the spine for it! It's... it's 14 years old, Skelly. It's, uh, certainly, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's okay. The ground combat system is the creakiest part the space uh, combat actually is held up very well uh, but today the story is primarily uh, uh, ground based but yeah it tells a story and, and and that's what I like about it we're we're telling a story we're part of a story but it's our understanding you had acquired tactic valuable tactical data captain it is quite a prize indeed Complete scans of the Romulan defenses and a plan for a new type of warbird. Unfortunately, that green blooded Katak over there detected us. Clever bastard was following in our warp trail as we left the Raytar system. <laughs> clever, but not clever enough. We detected him and disabled his shuttle. I'm surprised you didn't just kill him. Oh, I've considered it several times. But my senior officer has convinced me that Imperial intelligence might not have worked with him. So we threw him in the brig. Since then, there's been nothing but trouble. The cunning Toba managed to sabotage our computers after the crash. He'd have done more my chief engineer and introduce him to the business end of her spanner. How badly did he damage your computers? They're functional, but barely. You should be able to extract what you need from them, but I would hurry before the power runs out. 
Okay. I am getting power readings from within the ship, but they are at minimal levels. If we can find a working terminal, we can use it to access the ship's data core. Let's see what we can recover. Bear with me a short moment. Let's just do something for you, Skelly. It's a Skelly 72 as well. There we go, Skelly 82. If you say something now, you might see you've got another tag. it to uh, okay let's get on with the story so we're looking for a data terminal so it just happens to be a console here with power amazing the data. It's encrypted. There will be and any other survivors here. Right, we have the data. Right, uh, it's encrypted. There'll be time to deal with that later. For now, we should date Captain Tang and any other survivors here. Agreed. Right. Talk to Captain Tang. I'm ready to leave this wretched planet. Lead the way. I'll follow you back to the tent. Okay. Go to the beam outside for Captain Tang. Hell ship the beam out. So okay, this is the way team. We're on our way to the transporter site standby. Prepa prep for being up, we have survivors. Go! Catch them and talk of a Romulan! Okay, there's always one, isn't there? Somebody's got a weapon there that really is hammering. Where is he? Bits of wreckage from a bird of prey. Captain Katang must have had a bomb rigged to the warp core. He knew the Hirogen would return. Reading Klingon life signs up ahead. More survivors from the crash, most likely. Looks like a trap. These Herochen have no honor. If they did, they wouldn't keep warriors caged like animals. Let us free these warriors and send them to the Pattern Enhancer for evacuation. Once that is done, we can return there ourselves. Katan is for some time. Let's make the most of it. Ok, 
Hey. Where are the Hirocha? I will make them pay for this! Evacuate! As you wish. Should I see a Hirogen, I may be delayed. <laughs> Honor to you and your house, warrior. You have my thanks. I will not die in a cage, but as a warrior of the Empire. <laughs> Where is... there he... oh! There's that Robulin again! Where are they, Hirogen? I will make them pay for this! I submit to your will. Among my people, that would make you bound to protect me as you would an honored guest. So, guard me now, if you are truly honorable. A large force of Herogen are coming this way. I won't survive without your assistance. Well... Just... Just finish, uh, back to where we were. What do you... Yep, yeah, VIP. Yep, yeah, well, um... Do you think who should we keep him or should we? Uh, I I know I'm tempted to, but uh, I, I, well, I'm tempted both ways. What do you reckon? Should we keep this guy alive uh, and, and perhaps act more honourably, uh, or do we leave him for the Herogen who because of the trouble he's caused? Hmm. Keep him. Yeah. It's not clear what he knows about Katang's mission. But we do know that he wanted us to capture him and escape from the Hirogen. The choice is yours. Shall we take him with us or not? Let's secure the prisoner and prepare to move out. You won't regret this. If I ever return to my home, I will tell my people that there is at least one officer of the Empire who truly knows the meaning of the word honor. Lead the way. I will follow willingly. I'm not sure that the phrase that I'm about to use is particularly Klingon, but um, slimy git. I think the word that uh, uh, the Klingon might use is patach. Right. I love the fact that there is no such thing as friendly fire in this. The Roger won't give up the hunt easily. In that, they are almost Klingon. Stay on guard. There may be more traps and ambushes ahead. We can follow that jungle path next to the hillsides we came uh, to get up here. Right. So there's the path. want to get up to the top of that hill but yeah hey up steaming attack using me and my crewmates is a bait for their traps there is a spatial charge underneath me it is wired to explode if I move you might be able to disarm it if you cut the right wire save me let me die with my honor intact the warrior. Okay, so green and orange. Disarm bomb. Well, we weren't too successful. Not sure quite what happened there, why it didn't work, but I perhaps I just simply ran out of time. The warrior fell in battle and died with honor. I failed to disarm the bomb in time. Oh, we have another one. Yep. 
Right. Green. Disarm bomb. Okay. I sent the warrior to the evac site. Right, grab loot is what we can. Right. On we go. We have another one. Help crewman. Green, orange, disarm. the warrior to the evac site. What was that? Skelly! Skelly! What are you doing? Thank you very much for the gift sub. At Carrotum, but... Um... I hope you enjoy the sub. I hope you enjoy the emotes that have come with it. Um... You're more than welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Skelly. But I've got to admit, I had no idea what that noise was <laughs> when it went off. <laughs> right, so where am I supposed to be going to now? Round the corner here, by the looks of it. Decaying Cardassian. What is the Cardassians doing over here? Hang on. We seem to have got multiple pointers, directional pointers here. See if we can find what's going on. We've got somebody up here. Yes, there is. How did we manage to bypass this guy? Red disarm bomb. I sent the warrior to the evac site. Right. Whoa, there seems to be some stasis mines or something. We ran fast. No, we didn't. Okay, so on to the next point. Right, here we are. There you are. Let us talk of victory. A bit early for talk of victory. Ah, I killed the heroic 
Lynch and Woody there in battle, and they plot most of his wickedest plotings to blast. It was glorious! Kalis himself could have done no better. Ah, but there is still glory to be had, brave warriors. A second Kirogen Alpha still lives. He has been chasing me through the jungle. Now, we will fight together, side by side, with honor. Death to the Hirogen. Kapla! Kapla. These are all just a prelude. The Alpha is coming. These are just initiates. Hey. Ah, he's hiding. Watch for no, his minions. Hiding. No. Hey, now he's gone. Second. That's the Alpha. Disrupted, disintegrated him. Is there anybody else? It has been a day of glory and of honor. Know that you are a friend to me and my house. What you have done for me and my crew. I will never forget. When we meet again, we will drink a barrel of my family's finest blood wine. <laughs> Perhaps two, if we're still standing after the first. Ha! I have the prisoner. Truly? Ah, good. I have so many questions for that miserable Karut. He will wish for the tender mercies of Imperial intelligence when I'm finished with him. I may let him have him. Or perhaps I will drag him by those pointed ears all the way to Rura Pente. Okay, so let's get ourselves up the hill to the pattern enhancer that we planted. I think we've looted everything. Up we go. You have completed the Vigilant story arc. Okay, we have completed the story arc apparently. So there's the injured and captured uh, survivors. And uh, where there's the uh, Romulan. So let's we are cleared out. for transporter operations and can leave at your command. Alright, beam up. We go. Return to Kronos. This was a good victory. Though Katang's ship is a loss, he lives on, a strong warrior and hero of the Empire. He will critically reduce the supply of blood wine in the first city while he celebrates. But that is a small price to pay, I think. You and I both know we need all of the stout fighters we can get to defeat the Federation. Saving warriors like Katang will help us achieve that victory. Ah, but I've chewed enough ligament here. Until we fight together once more, serve with honor, my friend. Okay, so we have finished. Back. Thing on intelligence stealth utility armor. Don't want the that. Herogen Tetrian Blast Rifle. Let's go with the armor. Collect reward. Congratulations, Lieutenant Aaron.